Hey guys, welcome back. So in the last tutorial I made, we installed Nginx PHP and MySQL. In this video, we're going to be installing PHP MyAdmin that works with Nginx. So I'll just switch over to the CLI. So the first thing we need to do is we need to install the PHP MyAdmin. But first, we need to do an update on that. So we're going to sudo. Yeah, I'll give it a second. Okay, so you can see that. Sudo app date type in your top secret passphrase and we'll let it get the newest packets so now we're going to go sudo app and we're going to do install and do php get text and we are going to install this and PHP my admin and we'll hit yes Y for yes and we'll just give these a minute to do their thing so we're going to configure this as light HTTP Do we configure the databases? Yes. And this is where you need your passphrase that you set up with your databases in the previous video. So just type in your passphrase. Okay. So now, we switch over to the web view. And we go PHP. Sorry, that's a cat in the background. Admin. When you switch over to the web view, you see we get a 404 not found. That's because we need to configure Nginx to work with the uh, PHP MyAdmin. So switch it back to the CLI. I just accidentally close the thing down. So now what we need to do is we need to restart PHP. So we're going to go sudo app. There we go. Whoops. I forgot to type out. PHP. 7.2 where the services okay we restarted PHP so now we need to link the PHP my admin directory to the HTML so we're going to go sudo ln s and it's under user crazy cat starts acting up HP my admin. And I'm gonna go bear bear www html. So now when we switch you back to the web view, we reload this, you now get the PHP my admin. So give me a second to get the passphrase regenerated, make sure the login works. So the login is root, and our passphrase we generated for the MySQL database. And there you go. We now have PHP installed on Nginx. Look right here, Nginx 1.14. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. See you guys later. The next video we're going to be doing is hosting multiple servers on port 80 and using Nginx reverse proxies to do an internal routing behind one static IP. So like if you have, if you're hosting a site and your ISP gives you one IP and you have to run multiple servers on the same port, you can use Nginx to do a reverse proxy. So keep tuned for that. Bye. Hi hey guys, my name is Tate. I've been on YouTube since 2012. I've never really taken YouTube too seriously. Like I would post a video like once a year on how to do something. I don't know how my one sharpening video has gotten almost 100,000 views, but recently I would like to try making my YouTube channel into a part-time income. And my AdSense has been removed because YouTube changed their terms and service, and I now need 1,000 subscribers and 400 hours of watch time in the next 12 months. I don't want to sound like I'm begging for subscribers, but if you could please subscribe and like and share my videos, that would really, really help. I'll be trying to post a video like once every week or so. 
at least on either a Linux tutorial or just messing around in GIMP or just me messing around the shop or something. So if you like any of that stuff, please subscribe and check out some of my other videos and give me a shout out. Thanks guys. I'll see you guys later.